I feel that art is a very free um, way to, ex to express oneself. Whenever I'm doing art, I feel very relaxed and free. I feel total freedom. And I feel that everyone has um, a way of looking at the world, at the society, and, and you're free to choose that angle that you want to view, your own society. Yeah. Mm. Because I, um, I focused on mo different modes of transport, like aeroplanes, um, vans, and uh, motorbikes because I want to show the progress of uh, humankind and uh, from the simple plow all the way to aeroplane. In ad addition to that, I change, I alter the look, the normal look of the uh, things that you see on the road, you know, the transport, the vehicles. I alter the look so that it, has, uh, it represents um, how it becomes the part of everybody's life. Yeah. Uh, to me, I welcome the challenge that is uh, for me to have an outdoor display uh, using the container. To me, the, the container reminds people of uh, the port and uh, I chose an, uh, an old container because I heard that there's a, there used to be a port around and, and I intend to cut it up and uh, put it together again to represent the black hole that is uh, in, the, <laughs> in, the, in the astronomical sky. <laughs> I intend to cut up the container and put it together into a shape of a diamond. Um, and I call it the black hole because um, I find that a black the black hole that we know of is, um, is uh, a magnet of salt and it attracts and absorbs anything at all even sound and light and to me it's a very it's very similar to the way humans is um, material materialistic about things they are their ones are endless so I, I when i cut up the container and make it into a diamond i intend to put lights in it and to make it shine so it becomes diamonds are valuable things and uh, it represents luxury, represents the material things that people are always going for. And, and I call it the black hole because it attracts people to it. It attracts people's desire. And I'm very, very glad that I'm given the opportunity to, to do this work here and exhibit uh, the black hole because I find that um, New Zealand is a very green country and uh, it is almost like out of this world as well. This trip is uh, very different and meaningful for me because uh, normally I would, uh, I would have all my exhibits being shipped over and, um, and uh, exhibited, but this time around I get to uh, stay here for three weeks and I get to experience the local um, flavors. So uh, it, has, it has given me a lot of new experiences and new ideas. I have started on my work, um, The Travelling City, is it? Yeah, um, uh, I started it in year 2001 uh, and during over, it is a, it is a continuous uh, project because from, uh, from, from that year, 2001, I have uh, been exhibiting my work overseas. So I have been, uh, whenever I go to a different city, a different country, and I have, um, I get to try new things or receive new experiences, I would make it and part of my project for each one. And so it becomes, uh, uh, it becomes to me, it's like um, the, country, the city that I've been to, uh, I bring along with me. So it's a traveling city due to globalization. Um, almost every city that I've been to, they are more or less the same. So uh, at the end of this project, what I hope to achieve is to come up with my own version of a city. Yeah, it may not be a real one, but that will be an accumulation of all my experiences in all the cities that I've been to. And I've uh, collected all the clothing uh, of all the places that I've been to and all the voices of uh, the people that I have uh, interacted with. And when I, I put them all together into a suitcase, I can bring it along with me.